Hi guys, very good morning to you. Uh, today uh, I'm going to talk about uh, for each code and uh, this uh, will be dealing with uh, because of the fact that uh, what if you want to uh, loop a, you know uh, loop in e each and every sheet of your workbook and you want to actually check their names right for example now I have this uh, Excel file uh, which has uh, I think 10 or 12 sheets and every sheet has a unique name right so what if you want to check their name one by one right so I guess message box would be the best option to access each and every sheets name and uh, so what you can do is a very uh, you can write a very simple code uh, like we'll use the collection word that's basically the collection property and uh, you go to your this VBA window developer tab and go to the visual basic or maybe you can use the alt F11 and this is what actually the code you are supposed to write right so uh, maybe let me delete this code uh, and let me just let us start this code from the scratch uh, so what you need to do is uh, the very first thing is you write your sub the procedure name should name uh, it has some uh, name so I would say that sheet name access okay so name has to be uh, you can write it any name as long as it is following the the basics of you know uh, writing a sub uh, falls under that category because you really can't write any keyword here of the VBA like suppose if you want to write something like this uh, maybe you want to write sub you know it is going to give you error because sub is a reserved word if you if you're going to write this dim it is not going to write because dim is a word which basically used to uh, you know give the dimensions to your variable so I'm going to write here maybe accessing my sheet okay so this helps in uh, you know recognizing the uh, your this macros or oh, when or oh, you'll uh, make around 20 50 macros in just one workbook so your naming would always help you know it can always give you a idea that what exactly this macro is going to do however it is not mandatory but it is always advisable uh, if you want to be a good coder so let's write a code and uh, so I'm going to start with this variable uh, I'm go going to give this WS a variable a property of a class which is called the worksheet right now worksheet is a class which you can check here in the object browser and uh, you can write here worksheet and you can check that you know this um, the worksheet class this is the class if I just maximize this and I check that this class has all these activities uh, all these properties and the methods right so this uh, tilted box with the dotted lines you know this is called a method so method means that some action is being done over here and similarly you see these um, you know hand with the envelope kind of a you know this symbol um, these are the actually properties right so properties are what properties are kind of a I'll not go much you know I'll not go into uh, much detail but yes just just to give you an idea because we're writing this code uh, methods actually does action you know they are called like verb like for example if I say that a cat is running right so that's a kind of a method you know that's an action which is happening there right something is happening there some work is going on so when you activate the workbook when you open the workbook when you close the workbook that's called actually uh, a method you know a method is being applied but if I say that a cat has a black eyes you know a cat has four legs that's that's something which is called the property you know so uh, a worksheet name uh, a cell color you know all these stuff they are called the actually properties so we'll use this class uh, worksheet class because in this worksheet uh, class we have uh, the properties like you know we can we can do a lot of stuff or we can check the name we have this worksheet name uh, I'm going to use this wo uh, worksheet name property over here uh, so how you are going to use this worksheet property you'll have to define a variable which should have we should represent this class first right so I'll say that WS should hold all the properties and the methods what this worksheet class has and now for each is going to be you're going to write this for each WS in worksheet now worksheets is a collection word right so what you want to do is you want to check every sheet every worksheet every WS in all the worksheets which are available in your workbook and you want to run a loop which is called the for each and next so it will keep on running till it uh, you know will not till it till it won't find your this last sheet which is in my case is 
going to be the function sheet right so what we are going to do is we are going to display a message box and we are going to say that give us the name now as I was telling you in the object browser I was I showed you know this, this uh, name as a property of the worksheet class but now since we have assigned this variable uh, WS and we have given this uh, class to this uh, variable so automatically now all the properties in the methods will be uh, you know given to this WS variable and WS could be anything it could be your name as well and it could be my name as well that's nothing really matters as long as you're giving it a correct class right so that's how you write this code and uh, now let's run this code and let's check what exactly is going to happen here right so I'm gonna click here F5 so the first sheet name is VBA as you can see here that's the VBA and just uh, it was a typo error though but never mind uh, introduction if condition Gunjan recording variables workbook homework error handling function and that's it right so you have accessed all the sheets in just this one liner code right maybe two three liner code so that's how you can uh, run this loop and you can uh, you know check actually that uh, what all sheet names you have and uh, you can even display them uh, uh, you know you can write them in some another maybe in some another sheet and you can actually check from there as well so that's something which I'll upload my you know uh, I'm gonna upload another video on that so just watch out for that as well so um, that's it for now guys and this is my email id let me know what you think about this training program and uh, in case if you have some you wanted to know something uh, else maybe you have some problems in your official work let me know about it i will be more than happy to upload a video right so till then till my next video thank you so much and do subscribe today in case you are looking for more learning uh, till now i have uploaded around 45 videos and there are many more in the way and uh, hope you're liking the videos and uh, thank you so much have a very great learning good day bye bye thank you